All right, look at the state of this enclosure. The Viperamoditis. Oh, a little strike there. Well, he's not happy. Well, you shouldn't have messed up your enclosure. You've only been in there since yesterday. Oh, not another strike. You hear that hissing? This is just a quarantine enclosure, by the way. He's only in here for a little bit. But because he's only just got you. He seems like a grumpy little thing. Belong to the same family as the Viper Barros. These are a hell of a lot more toxic, much more dangerous than the Viper Barros. See, so he's striking away a little bit there, look. Which is understandable, he's got a giant mammal staring at him with a camera. Let's get you out there and get you cleaned up. Come here, boy or girl or whatever you are, and checked. You're still hoping and puffing a little bit. Let's get you sorted out, little fella. <coughs> right, back in your enclosure. The water ball I've got in here is a bit crap. The full enclosure is a bit crap anyway. I've got bigger tub. Which will be going in. Once I get him a new water ball, you can see that water ball's huge. Way too big for such a little snake. Well, such a little enclosure. Way too wide, should I say. It's the only one I've got at the minute though, but... It'll have to do till I nip to the shop a bit later on. There he is, he's not hoping and puffing now. Not long before I guess so. That paper is on there, there's a box underneath that I can hide in. He's on top of it at the minute, on top of the paper that I've shredded. I'm going to nip to shop anyway and get him a better water ball and put him in a bigger tub.